I studied engineering at UBC and I've always been a tech generalist. And um, as soon as I finished engineering, I started my first software company. I never worked as an engineer, but I loved the idea of studying engineering because it was all about solving problems and uh, essentially using the forces of nature to re-engineer and solve problems. Well, we really started our company in a small 100 square feet um, uh, rental office, share office, with about five people in it. The moment I came into this office, it was, uh, the vision was incredibly different and unique uh, based on all of my experience to date. And I think a lot of that was um, Hamid's enthusiasm and unique vision for health tech in Canada. Well has really created a practitioner enablement platform. So there are a lot of different tools and capabilities that the platform has, but it's largely focused on helping practitioners, again, be more uh, efficient. It really took like someone like Hammond to the vision of saying, hey, let's take best of breed uh, digital health technologies and really get them to communicate with each other. The first iteration of that was to buy a lot of the Oscar EMR assets and, and have significant market share. And that allowed a lot of our companies that we were looking to acquire to look at us and say, hey, this integration makes a lot of sense. If a physician had a company like Wall behind them that could help them with billing, help them with data protection, help them and navigate them around technology, that would be a huge burden lifted off their backs and then they could focus on providing care. Our job is to, um, is to, to further empower physicians to, to help make changes in healthcare experiences, not only for them, not only for their practices, but also for the patients they serve. Most doctors and clinics don't have the time to invest in best of breed technologies and more importantly they may but to integrate those properly is a big challenge. What we're really doing is we're taking one of the most under digitized industries on the planet and we're introducing common sense tools, best practices, software, etc. Um, to those businesses to improve experiences. You know Wells vision is extremely well aligned to addressing some, you know, decades old challenges in healthcare in Canada and anywhere else for that matter. So what if you could, through a website, through your phone, book an appointment with a doctor and from the comfort of your home without having to pack anybody up, see a physician. I mean, that's telehealth. That's virtual care. Well, and Hamid and the team, we were ready to introduce all these technologies and we're getting some resistance from patients and doctors. And then COVID came along and has made all of these, all of these um, initiatives essential. The company was well positioned when COVID-19 happened from a data privacy perspective, a tech perspective, a focus on you know, what do providers need to provide great patient care, whether it's in person or virtually. It was, it was an opportunity. It was an opportunity for us to serve. And, and that's all we looked at at the beginning was, was, you know, we weren't thinking about value creation. We were thinking that value creation becomes a byproduct of actually being useful here, right? The amazing thing that Well was able to do is actually pivot uh, immediately upon the, the pandemic starting and accelerate all of our operations and our focus to ensure that we were able to meet the needs of the patients and the physicians today rather than years down the road as originally planned. We heard things like, we would have never been able to do this without you. Um, you know, thank God you were around because, you know, without your digital expertise, we don't know what we would have done. We would probably had to shut down the practice for several months. Endorsement of Li Kaixing, who's obviously had a fantastic track record, it really just gave a lot of the early institutional investors that extra bit of comfort. And I think it gave investors a lot of confidence to to follow Hammond along this path, knowing that they that he he secured significant backing from possibly the, the China's equivalent of Warren Buffett in North America. So in 2020, um, Well has done multiple uh, has done multiple acquisitions um, in all various sizes. Some to enhance our current offerings, um, specifically in the EMR space, we made some, uh, several key acquisitions. So in 2020, our stock um, soared over 400 percent, and really, it's mainly due to the execution of a uh, Hams strategy. The CRH 
Medical was a massive acquisition. We're so delighted with them being part of the, the Well family. We're really bullish on what happens next with CRH. We really started from zero, zero revenue, to now um, we're trending a run rate of 400 million revenue in just in short three years. As the stock price increased, they, they raised capital and strategic values to ensure that we could maximize our ability to further acquire companies. Um, and it really has created such a strong foundation for the company. We actually are setting our targets even higher in the future. I think one of the things that we've done that I'm really proud of is we is we demonstrated that there can be a, a private company in Canada, so not born of government, that can participate in healthcare in a positive way and support the government-based system. Within healthcare, you have companies that are very silo-based. They, they solve a single problem, where Well is taking on the system as a whole and trying to address as many problems as possible in a very organized and unique fashion. One way that I think that we did change the landscape is by uncorking capital flows because of this trend of corporatization of healthcare in Canada. Not, not privatization, but corporatization, which, which is the idea that, you know, this patchwork quilt of, of, of medical clinics is starting to give way to more of an organized network of nodes where you can make real investments in technology and amortize those investments across a, a wider group of, of, of locations. Hamid is arguably the most genuine person that I know. is He's dedicated to not just shareholders but all stakeholders and making sure they benefit from, from the success of the company. I really admire the way that he's able to see past obstacles um, and uh, really kind of push to get things accomplished. It's not often in business that you find someone who is just a good, fair person and he is consistently so. Very, very seldom in life do you get an opportunity to truly be useful. To have a number of people, you know, kind of join me on this journey after the last journey. Yeah, I mean, it's probably one of the reasons why we're doing so well. It's because there's a group of us that worked together before. You know, that trust, that understanding, that operating rhythm is there. Uh, I, I feel blessed.